Hello everyone, sorry. I was looking I was looking at Nicholas's always questions that he's asking me. Nicholas, can you do me a favour? Can you ask me one question at a time please? You've asked you've you've um gave me about twenty odd questions there, you don't even give me a chance to answer one of them. <laughs> oh, blimey. Anyway, how you doing Nicholas? How you doing Maltese? How you doing Stefano? Um Hello Mark Blaster, how you doing? Who else have I missed? Hello Classics, how you doing? Have I ever milked bees in Dublin? That's a serious question. I can't say I have, mate. <laughs> Unless it's a joke and I'm slow up on the uptake. <laughs> that was a bloody tune. What one? The last one, yeah. Um, if, I don't know if you can get hold of it. It's on an old music software I used to have called Rebirth RB338. 338 barber no not EJ not EJ it was um, Rebirth RB338 really old piece of software mind you so are the EJ's yes Nicholas that's on the first gaming list that's on the list first thing Roadrunner on the snares, yes, okay. I like to classics, I really like to get back into um, music making again. But it's just, well, years ago I used to have the enthusias enthusiasm for it. I just don't have the enthusiasm anymore. And no, Nicholas, I'm not doing PlayStation 1 games at the moment. You keep on about that. No, I'm not doing PlayStation 1 games at the moment. There's loads and loads of channel, uh, channels out there that does PlayStation 1 games. I think that's covered more than any other emulator. You keep asking me the same thing. Am I getting a PlayStation 1? No, not at the moment. You've got your N64. I've got the N64 for you. What more do you want? Because if it's going to be PlayStation 1, then PlayStation, they're going to be PlayStation 2, then PlayStation 3, then it'll never end. Then it's going to be Xbox, Xbox 360. No. It does not interest me. What horror films do I like? Not I'm really a massive horror person. There's a few fil horror films that I do like. Nicholas, why don't you do PlayStation? Hello, Stewie Bay, how you doing? I don't know, was there a Brexit Halloween last October? I ain't got a clue. <laughs> and Nicholas, why would I like flowers, by the way? You're not thinking of sending me any, are you? Hope not. Sometimes your questions, I don't know, mate. I don't know. <laughs> Lost in translation. <laughs> uh, Nicholas, he was only joking, mate. Yeah, you just got it. You're joking, are you? Oh, brilliant. I'm glad you are. <laughs> we we'll, we'll still think you're, at, you're related to Andrew Ever, by the way. Can 
Can you imagine if I was dog sitting on Trump's head? No, I couldn't actually. <laughs> Well, that would be interesting, Nicholas. That would be very interesting. <laughs> I'm sure dinosaurs will come back. I'm sure they will. <laughs> yep, tumbleweeds are rolling past as we speak. Are BBC and ITV both two? What the fuck are you talking about? They're TV stations. You do ask some bizarre questions, you do, Nicholas. You really do. Are you a bot? Who used to go? I still do, Nicholas. I do have a social life as well. Fireworks are. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm trying to work you out. I just... Hello, Neil. How are you doing? I just... <laughs> God. I watch the fireworks outside the window every night. Why don't you have your own fireworks? I thought you'd have your own fireworks. You can hear them outside, hearing them banging outside. How you doing, Neil? Are you alright? In October and November, VH tips. What the fuck are you? Oh my god, Nicholas. What the fuck are you on about? Are you on drugs? You clip VHS tapes. Oh, that's a shame. I threw a load. I threw a load of mine away years ago. You're not on drugs. Are you just naturally hyper? Oh, they do. They do, Stefano. They do. He must be on something. You <laughs> mean, yeah, I think you need some. <laughs> yeah, well, you definitely are the king of randomness, I can tell you that. Do you go have your friends? And how many friends have you got? I'm not talking about online. I'm talking about friends that you may have gone to school with and you still hang out with them. Do you still talk to them? Have you ever been to the pub? <laughs> oh, he's, yeah, he's, oh, he's Greek, yeah. Young, yeah, the uncut verse. Bloody hell. Yeah, but, oh, I don't know why they edit things for fucking box sets. It's just stupid. You're paying your money, so you should get the full episodes, I say. Hey, DVD, welcome back, mate.
I like having friends. Well, we all like having friends. Hello, Matt, how you doing? Why, Nicholas, you don't know me? How can you say you, I'm your best friend and you don't even know me? Is this why you've asked loads of questions to find out so much about me? Uh, could you imagine if I gave him my phone number? Oh God, what's this? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Would you do this? Do you do that? Do you do that? What are you doing right now? Oh God. Yeah, I think I will get on with the game. That's, that's why he's asking me so many questions. So I'll get on with the game and gaming. Hello, Scott. How you doing? Thank you very much. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yes, Nicholas. I'm going to do Roadrunner on the fucking SNES. Calm down. <laughs> What's happening? Well, Nicholas is asking me millions and millions of questions at the moment. <laughs> nah, I didn't do fuck all for Halloween. Don't like Halloween. We didn't get, apparently we didn't get any trick-or-treaters. We haven't had trick-or-treaters for the last three or four years. Oh yeah, that was a good episode, that was. Electric cattle prod, get with the electric cattle prod, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the original Halloween, do you want to know, I still haven't seen that, never seen that film. Alright, well that's nice of you Nicholas. I just turned off the lights. <laughs> yeah, the banana. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, we should have done Stefano. That would have been good. Nicholas, did you hear what I just said? I don't like Halloween. So why would I buy sweets for Halloween if I don't like Halloween? And chop and not chopped off anybody's legs and sh turned off all the lights. And I said, we haven't had trick or treaters for the last three or four years. Do you listen? <laughs> so I'll be having a go. But do you actually listen? When are you going to ask me? When are you going to ask me the next question? Do I like Pokemon? Do I like Japanese anime? You know I fucking don't. <laughs> yeah, too. True. Well, you don't know. You never know. You know, they probably think, oh, he's out trick-or-treating. So I'll probably leave you to it. I ain't gonna know you're the Grim Reaper. <laughs> oh, he's out trick or treating. I'll bloody eat all the sweets, don't you worry about that if we had any. It's like Christmas carols. You still, do you, does anyone get Christmas carols going around their houses? I don't think I've seen that for a long time. Can't afford to... Uh, <laughs> don't blame you. On the 11th and still struggling to think. Bloody hell.
Never had a Christmas car. Oh, we used to have loads back in the day. About like the 80s, the 90s. Always had Christmas carolers. Now you don't. It's like Guy Fawkes night. How many, how many people do you see nowadays do penny for the guy or make a guy or even fire a bonfire? You don't see that now anywhere. We like when we was kids, we used to do that. Penny for the guy, um, make a guy, make a bonfire. That was when bonfire bonfire night used to be brilliant. Making the bonfire. That was probably better than having fireworks. But probably because people don't want to ruin their gardens now, which I, I can understand. Because you did make a mess of your garden. And you know that was better than that was better than Halloween. It was, you know, because you, you know, you could build your own fire, put petrol on the fucking thing, or paraffin, turps, whatever was flammable. <laughs> oh, that were great times. No, don't really get. Christmas presents, nurse. I haven't for a long time, to be honest with you. Don't do, don't really do Christmas like that anymore. Put decorations up. <laughs> I think we had turps, paraffin. We just used to tip that on, and that make the fire go up. Yeah, yeah, well, just grown out of it, I guess. Oh, but you do, Nicholas. I mean, the only time I might go out with my mates, you know, over Christmas time, have a drink with them, that's about it. Birthday, I don't, oh, birthdays don't. I don't even want to know about my birthdays. I'm getting older. I don't even want to know. <laughs> You're going to be 22. Oh. Happy birthday. Why don't you go out and get pissed? Why don't you go to the pub and get pissed? That's what you should be doing on your 21st. Or your 22nd. Well, did you go out and get pissed on your 21st? I know I fucking well did. <laughs> Pissed when I was 18. No, you, do you, you don't drink, Nicholas. I don't blame you. It's not. It's nothing to be proud of, to be honest with you. Ah, that's good, DVD. I don't drink nowhere as much as I used to anymore. You know, that Colesburg, that's all I can handle these days, Colesburg. I don't drink any of the heavy stuff. <laughs> you were totally out of it, I guess, on your 21st. <laughs> don't worry, well, I think we all was. <laughs> oh, I, can't, I can't even drink wine, blood. It, that, just, that just makes me... The sip of... Oh, I just... I can't stand wine. <laughs> a shandy person. Yeah, I quite like shandy. It's nice. It's really nice. You like your coffee. <laughs> it's not good for the health if you drink too much of it. It's like anything. If you overindulge, it's not good for you. A few beers, what what's what beers though? A few beers, what are we talking about here? Bloody nine percent proof. <laughs> no, I don't I don't smoke. I've never smoked, never liked it. Something I chose not to do. I drink I'm more I drink tea, I don't like coffee.
Poor car, don't it? Poor. You drink before you work. I've, that's a rule that I don't do anymore. I don't. I don't have a drink before I work the next day. I used to years ago. Bloody hell. When the World Cup '98 got bloody slaughtered. Bloody good times they were. Can you hear the fireworks out going off outside? Probably going to hear that a lot of that over the next week. It's bloody windy though. Quite windy outside. And it was pissing down with rain. Never been to Nando's. Never. <laughs> Bloody hell. No, we're not waiting for nothing to load at the moment, we're just having a chat. That's what we usually do, have a chat before I play the games. I'll be playing the games in a minute anyway, don't worry about that. Just having a little bit of a chat, that's what we usually do. And we'll play games at 8 o'clock, then it's quiz night. Then it goes to quiz, and then I'll finish at half past 10. So 8 to half past 10, I'll do quiz night. Right, let's get this gaming part started. It's almost 7 o'clock. Oh, hell, I've been chatting quite a bit over my half hour chatting. Woody, Pu Woody Woodpecker's your favourite cartoon of all time. Oh, great. <laughs> right, so what we're we playing? Roadrunner on the Super Nintendo, aren't we? Oh, that was a loud one. Where is the Super Nintendo? There it is. Have I got yes I've got it. Yeah, it's a shame we lost the rugby, wasn't it? get a copyright claim for that <laughs> I shouldn't think so but you never know with YouTube these days right let's start this all right okay zippity splat I know it's Roadrunner, can we start this? Yeah, I know! Come on! Here we go. Oh, what? Oh, that's how you jump. Start all the way from the beginning again.
Oh. Oh, what the f away from the beginning again. I don't like that. Oh! oh I'm supposed to get that flag. Oh, he's gone, is he? Why does he always do that? Alright, okay. Choose a game, someone. Oh, you bastard. Oh, is that it? Bad game, this. Yes. Not a bad game. Hair and Sinners, Super Monaco 2, yes. Oh my god. Okay. So, Stephanosis, Hair and Sinners on the Mega Drive. That was one of a bad game. One of a bad game, that Roadrunner. Right, where are we? Mega Drive. Thank you, Stefano. Hang on, what's happening? I've got a crash. Why is it crashed? That was weird. I've got a problem. I've got a problem with the Mega Drive, it's crashing. Why is it fucking crashing? Oh no. I thought the old computer crashed then. Let's try again, what's going on with this fucking thing? Right, I think we're back to normal now. What happened there? I think it's alright now. So that was worrying. Is it still tra are we still transmitting? I hope so. Right, stream okay, stream alright everyone? Making sure now because there was something fucking up here. Good. Okay, let's do a Senna GP World Championship options. Have a look at the options. Yeah, just just the controller options. <laughs> let's go to Senna and choose a track. So, uh, it'd be nice if I told you what track it is. Oh, it's Brazil. This is Brazil, my own country. Right, is that automatic?
Oh, is that how I've qualified? Where have I qualified? All the colours are fucking yellow. And mine, I've only got the, the one and only blue car. And I've qualified 12. That's a bit lazy. That's a bit lazy, having all the cars the same colour. What image is that? Clansman! How you doing mate? Oh yeah, I think I did DVD, I think I did. I've got so much coming up on Facebook, so I think I did. Hello, Andreas. How you doing, mate? I'm good, thank you, mate. I'm good. Hope you're all well. And this is out in Senna's Super Monaco Grand Prix 2 on the Mega Drive. Oh, you're in a bar, that's all right, that's all right, um, Andreas. Hope you're having fun. Don't get totally drunk. <laughs> oh, that's it, is it? You're spending it on your Mega Drive. <laughs> that's why, <laughs> Maltese. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this game. Actually, um, could have been better. Could have been better. Don't like the fact that all the other cars are all orange and red, and just don't know. Well, we felt felt bad about what 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 happened. Oh, what it and Senna. Yeah, I was. Well, I remember that. I remember watching that group race live. Remember that. He was in the lead. Just come. Still don't know the the truth. What happened there? We still don't know the truth. What happened to Ayrton? Did his car break? Did he just lose control? I think he was too good to lose control like that. I think something happened to his car. Right, who's who's next? DVD, not 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 DVD. Cla classics. Bomb Squad for the Intellivision. Okay. Right, let's get the Intellivision out if I can. If I should have it. What's it called? Fucking bloody f Exactly. Yep. Bomb squad.
bomb slam, bomb squad. Oh, here we are. Mattel Electronics presents Bomb Squad. <laughs> bomb Squad. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Digits, one. Hello. Sean, how are you doing? Right, how do we start this? One. Right, it's not working. Oh shit, yeah, the black. It is, sorry about that. Hang on a minute. I'll have to. Hang on and bear with me for a sec. Bear with me. Television. I'll do the justice. I'll keep having to adjust this one because it clashes with other emulators. Right. Where the fuck is it? Right. Here it is. There we are. <laughs> yeah, it's weird this is television because I have to keep adjusting it. Cheers for letting me know. I should know because I've got the monitor right there. <laughs> right, now what do we do? Yeah, the I keep forgetting the tele television is one I have to keep adjusting with every game. It's a bloody weird emulator, this. And not, and I still can't get all the games to work. But I don't know what I have to do. No, don't push that. Mattel Electronics presents Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad, right. Okay, what do I push? I'm pushing one. Enter and doing nothing, space. I know nothing about this Intellivision emulator. It's obviously a console, I ain't got a keyboard, so what do I push? Anyone know about the... Uh, I'm pushing one, two, three, nothing's happening. Does anyone know about the JZ Int TV emulator? Anyone? Because I don't know fuck all about it. I might actually take it off the list because I'm having problems with it. Fire button. No, nothing. It's a fucking stupid emulator. Unless I've got to find out what keys do what. It's like the Atari 2600, you've got to use the keys for. What? I'm trying to play this game, <laughs> but I can't work it out. I can't, can't figure out this emulator. Don't know. I'm trying to play a game. Oh, I can't get it to fucking work. Why don't I push the F keys? No, F1 don't do nothing. Right, let's push F2 then. One, F2. No, I can't get it to work. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with this. I might have to take the Intellivision off the list because it's just a fucking pain in the arse. It's all right, mate. I just can't. I just can't get this intelligent, this intelligent thing to work. I have to look at the key commands. No, I haven't seen Andrew on here for a few streams actually. I can't do Mame on live. I can't do Mame live. 
because I have it's going to be like this. I'm going to have to adjust everything. That's why I don't put main on the live streams. It's just too much of a pain in the ass. Because it's a pain in the ass to keep adjusting it. Uh, Sean. Because all screens are different, all different resolutions, so I have to keep adjusting it, so I'm not fucking about with main. Because all the emulators I've got are all pre, um, they're all pre-sized, so I don't have to keep pre, keep resizing it. But this in television, I'm always having problems with. It clashes with other emulators, so that's why I might take it off the list. It's too ma too many problems with it. So sorry about that, classics. Right, anyone, anyone wants to request a game? You know, I've got the list of emulators on the side here, so if you want to look at the emulators I can use, but ignore in television. <laughs> Thunder Force 4, what's that on the Mega Drive? Okay, we'll play Thunder Force 4. Then we'll play Flood on the Amiga. Oh, bloody hell, now they're all coming. <laughs> right. Let's hope we don't have any problems this time. Thunder Force 4. Right, okay, I think we found it. That's the Japanese version. I want the Japanese version. Right, so that's three, next three are for the Amiga. So we got Flood for the Amiga, RK Plus for the Amiga, and Magic, Magic Pockets. That'd be handy. So next three are on the Amiga. Right. All right, yeah, oh, Sonic was coming on the on the plus machines. All right, sure, yes, let's play it. Have I reviewed this? Oh, I've got a sh I've, I've got a request to do a review of a very, very, very shocking game on the Mega Drive. I won't tell you what it is, but it's a shocking game. <laughs> shocking. I ain't gonna give you a clue what what I mean by shocking. Never reviewed Cauldron 2, haven't I? I never had it back in the day, I know that. I never had that, I never owned it, but I'm not sure. I, well, I don't know if you have, so I haven't, I haven't, might have to do that, might have to do it. I don't know. I know it's a bullseye game, oh, you can hold your fire button down. Ah, it'll be a surprise, it'll be a surprise. I'm definitely, I'm not going to give anything away. Ah, <laughs> oh, what happened there? I don't like that sound effect. I'm finding that a bit of a distraction. But the game ain't playing bad. Oh, it's game over already, is it? <laughs> Blimey. It didn't last very long, did it? It's not a bad game. I might have to put I might have to review this one if I haven't reviewed it. I'm not I don't think I've reviewed it. 
we got another container. Oh, the six container. I won't use up all six. I use another one. I use that. I use one. Play one more. Don't tell me I've got to start with my. Probably have to start all the way from the beginning. Oh fuck it. Ah, bollocks! Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I think this is easier than our type. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Bloody hell. They still remember you, though. They still remember you. <laughs> It is. Oh, he's going down, he's going down. Ooh. Shit it. Ah, what? Yeah, it's a good game, that. It's a good game. I don't like... The only thing I don't like about it is that sand effect. Yep, yeah, this is yeah fusion. It's fusion, yeah. Kiga fusion, and it em also emulates um, the master system, the Game Gear, um, all of the um, Mega Drive Genesis add-ons like the 32X and the Mega and the Mega CD. So it does pretty much all of those. Right, let's get the Amiga on now. Let's have fun and games with the Amiga emulator. Right, what was the three? What was the first one? I know there was IK Plus, Magic Pockets, but what was the first one? Because I have to scroll up because I've forgotten. Fuck is it? Flood. Flood. Okay, that was the first game. Flood. Then it's IK Plus, then it's Magic Pockets. Right. Right, okay, let's get this sorted. I think that runs on the 1200. It's Kiga Flu. I'll, I'll, I'll type it in. What am I doing? Oh yeah, it also emulates the SG-1000 as well, and the, S and the SC-3000, Master System Game Gear, Mega Drive Genesis, Mega Sega CD, the, also apparently does the Pico, never heard of a Pico, the SC SPP and 32X. SPP, what the fuck is that? Never heard of it. So it does quite a lot of emulation. And it's free, and it's a good emulator. I 
type off. You'll probably beat me in a type off. I'm pretty rubbish when it comes down to typing. Yeah, it is quite loud, this keyboard. Yeah, it's a cherry blue. I can't, I can't load it. What I do before I start, I'll show you, I'll show you what happens when I'll try and load it. Before I start the Amiga. Right. Um, where the fuck is it? Right, this is what happens. That's the Jap that's the European ROM. That I cannot. I can't load up any European ROMs, but when I have to, so what I've got to do is load up um, USA ROMs, um, and this is what happens. No, not this part. It, it starts to load, then it just stops. And it crashes, basically. That's all it does. It, it loads a little bit, then stops loading. And it won't come off this screen. I can't push anything, because it just crashes. I don't know. I cannot get this game to work at all. I've even tried, it's got all three BIOS options in it, and even though I changed the BIOS options, it still won't have it, it still won't work. I can With the Sega CD, I can only load up USA ROMs. Not, I've not tried the Japanese ROMs yet, but European ROMs don't work. I've got all the BIOSes, and I still can't get them, can't, still can't get them to work. I've got the Japanese, the European, and the US rock all all the bosses I've got them all I'm not gonna work I can't be bothered with it you know I'm not gonna fight I'm not gonna waste time trying to get a game to work anyway let's get back to the main just wanted to show um, classics what happens when I try and load it up it just crashes that's all I can that's all I can I've got four different images four discs and they all do the same thing because um, it's a four disc game and all four discs do exactly the same thing so I can't run it I did try but I thought I'd show you and show you what happens because I can't figure it out maybe someone with a Mega Drive can or with a that knows more about the em what that knows more about the emulation on the Mega Drive because I ain't got a clue right anyway let's get there and let's load flood Right, floor for oh, it's one disc. It's one disc. All right, here we go. Will it work on the 1200? Soon find out. Oh, you bastard. The answer to that question no, it doesn't work on the 1200. Well, that's a good start. Let's change the configuration to 500. Try again. Here we go. Night Trap, okay. <laughs> Get me to review what? I know, oh, hang on. I know this guy, I've played, I've reviewed this, this is quite good, you have to go around collecting all the litter. Me ha ha. Right, okay. I'm still loading. Password, I ain't got a clue what the password is. <laughs> no, it's always going to be orange. Hmm. 
Night Trap, what is that? I'll have I'll look at I'll look at that when I've played the three Amiga games. Right, okay. How many blooms is there? I don't know. Who cares? Oh, he's got a password protection. You're fucking joking. This ain't the cracked version. I thought this was the fucking cracked version. You fuck up. I won't load that one off. Right, that is a cracked version, so why didn't it let me load it? Let's try this one then. You bastard. Oh no, I didn't turn... I am not playing with a cheat on. We don't do cheating on this channel. Well, not on purpose anyway. <laughs> I did get, I know I did, I've reviewed it, but I don't know why that one was a cracked version. Why it wasn't, why didn't they put the, fucking put the password out, of, the copy protection out of it. That's better. Right, level one. Here we go. Oh. Right, so we've got to go around collecting all the litter. I've got to go up here. I've got to go up here. Everything. Yay! Oh, this is. You say what you want on this channel, Plantsman. Longs, you know. Longs, no one acts like a dickhead to anybody else. That's that's all. That's the, the rule. Only rule. I think everyone knows that anyway. You say what you want. This ain't a family show. This ain't a family stream. <laughs> right, I need ah, I need to get in there. Oh, don't worry about that. When your fault. Oh, bollocks. Is that it? Yes. Oh, but all right. Okay. Right, so I need to get... I think this has only got one... Oh, what? Why can't I get up there? Why can't I... Can't I, can't I, can't I, no, I can't do that. That's my shadow. Right, that's all I need to get. Now I've got to get up on that. No. Can't remember what to do now. Damn it. Oh, what's that thing? So what do I have to do? I can't remember what to do here. Yeah, I've got, I think I've got everything. I think you only had to collect one thing on this level. Oh, it's there. It's all right. Right, oh, okay. Right, okay. I can't find nothing. I ain't got no... Damn. Ah, oh, bollocks. And that's it. It's 
Let's have one more go. Oh, bin it. No, no, let's go this way. I don't think we're gonna Mark said I think he's working he works weekends now. So I'm not sure if Mark's if we'll see Mark, I'm not sure. Right, I need to get that thing at the top. Then go into here, that's that level No, yes. Try and do this one more carefully. I can't find nothing. I have to get so oh. oh, damn it! Ah, well, can. Oh, ooh, it's close. jump damn it there's one up here there's two up there right okay Missed anything? Oh bloody hell, it's loads, loads here. Trash. Oh right, it counts down at the top, that's good. Oh bollocks. Right, I mean you have to get three more, it's one, two there. Damn it! Oh, right, I've got a flamethrower. Oh, I did have a flamethrower. Oh, I almost done that level then. And you got to enter your name in the stupid arcade style. Alright, okay. That's a good game, that. Alright, let's get on with Arcade Plus. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? It was requested by him, wasn't it? What's his next request? Rolling Ronnie. Oh, what's going on? Why did it load in? I was trying to run then. I don't know what he's doing. I don't understand what all these episodes are. I don't know what he's doing. I 
Uh, all sorts of all sorts of shits going on tonight. I don't know what's going on. Yes, it did work. Oh, you bastard. Oh, yes. Won that. We can play three players on this version. I thought we could only play two. Ah, shit. Oh, I had this, I've had this on, originally for the Amstrad CPC, I had, uh, my mate had the Commodore 64 version, which I also had, then when I got my Amiga I got this version. It only supports one button though. I think this game would have been better if it supported two. Or you could have had that option. Like with most games on the Amiga. God knows what they was thinking when they did Street Fighter 2 though. How the fuck can you play with that play that with one button? And that's it, I'll have another go. Oh, it did support. Oh, it did. <laughs> okay. I think the problem is I only had one button joysticks back in the day. That's probably why it, was, why it weren't as good as the Super Nintendo version. Because that's what I originally played it on. Bastard. Fuck you! I'll come second. Yeah, music's good on... I think the Sid version was pretty good as well. Oh, you could, yeah, same. Hello, Jason. You could, couldn't you? I bet you could, yeah. But unfortunately, I didn't have one back in the day. I'm just going to do you, you sneaky bastard. Uh oh, well, I'm coming. To... Oh, come on! I'm going to lose this. Alright. What is that? What fucking drawed with him? What the fuck? Okay, yeah, that's a good game, that. That's a good game. Alright, let's. Magic pockets. Magic pockets, there we go. Right, what will this work first time? No, it fucking ain't. Is it? No, oh yes it is. 
And why have we only got a bit of loading? What was the game you wanted me to play DVD on the Mega C? Oh, I, c I can't because I don't have it. If it's a game, I can't do Mega CD because I have to get them on. I've got to get those games. I can't do it because I don't have it. And they are about 500 megabytes each, so I'm not going to download it in a stream. So if you put it on the list, if you remind me on a video, I can do it as a review. Yeah, any CD games, so it's I don't have them unless unless I get them. That way, I, when I get them, I don't I don't delete them, so they'll always be there. Right, um, put it in a video so I will remember. Actually, no, no, I'll write it down now. That way, I'll remember. As I ain't drinking at the moment, so yes. Right, night trap. Mega CD. Oh, I'll play it in a minute. I'm just... Right, that's written down, so that'll be on the list. That's now on the list. So, got a Mega CD game going up tomorrow. Sonic the Hedgehog CD. So that'll be the next Mega CD game going up. And guess who requested that? Right, let's have another go at this. See if we can play it properly. No, it weren't Andrew Heather. It was our friend that was on asking me loads of questions. Hello Gambit. How you doing? Yep, it was Nick. Nicholas. Who do, who plays who? Matt, do you do you um, um, do PlayStation games? Because we can always send Nicholas to you if you want to play PlayStation games. We'll send him to you. <laughs> okay, now we know. We'll send him to you. <laughs> Who else does PlayStation games? Do you do PlayStation games, um, Sean? I know you do, you focus on arcade games now, don't you? Well, let's have another go at this because I'm rubbish at this. Couldn't get very far. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to like Nicholas requesting games for you. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask you loads of questions as well, and become and become your best friend. What did I, do you remember what I rated this? I have reviewed it. On the Amstrad, yes, I have reviewed it. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic.
I even reviewed the Super Nintendo version as well. And I do believe there's a PC version. 7 out of 10. I don't know why I gave it 7 out of 10. May have gave this 6 out of 10, but I don't know why I gave it 7 out of 10. I'm all over the place with Maya when it comes to um, giving him a score. Maybe I was a little bit more lenient back then. What's that telly do? Oh! Oh, what's happening? Hang on! What's happened here? Game over. Gave. Um, I couldn't get on with Dizzy, that's why. I remember having Dizzy, I just couldn't get on with Dizzy. I can't remember what I scored that. I think it was the only Dizzy I had back in the day. Bollocks. What's the time? Right, who wants to give me another one? Probably one more game request before I go on to the quizzes. I'm getting quite thirsty now. <laughs> it's thirsty work playing these games, talking to you guys. <laughs> more combat on the Master System. More combat. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Alright, I'll get out of this F12. Master system, where is key R? Let's hope we don't have any problems. Okay, what I'll do, I'll play Mortal Kombat, then we'll finish off with Mickey's Speedway on the N64. I doubt if I'll get very far on Mortal Kombat. Yeah, we just play these two games and that'll be it for the gaming night. Then we'll go on to the quiz night. Quiz part. Because I want a beer. Oh, it ain't fucking crashed, is it? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, got to push back button. All oh, right, uh, I'm just going to have a quick go at this. Easy. You know, I'm not I'm not good at this game anyway, so it ain't gonna matter. Have I reviewed this? I've reviewed I've reviewed the Amiga version. Oh, I've got them all. I've got all the ROM, pretty much all the ROMs. So this is the good thing about having cartridge ROMs, because I've got pretty much all of them. All the cartridge ROMs, all the 8-bit ROMs. The only thing I don't have is the CD ROMs. Not all of them. Well, hardly any of them. I told you I was shit at this. Just probably need more time to practice.
Yep, there's fireworks going on outside. Yeah, I know I was going to be shit at it. Let's have one more go. Let's choose a different character. Easy, of course. <laughs> well, I'm probably making... Because I think that this week's going to be pretty shitty weather-wise. So they're probably having it tonight. Even today, today was going to be shitty. Oh, one. Well, that was easy again. Bloody hell. <laughs> Beat Scorpion, am I? We'll try. Yep, I felt I knew I was gonna. Oh, come on, give me a chance, you fucking. I mean, this is pretty impressive. What? Pretty, pretty impressive on the master system. For an 8-bit game, the graphics are very impressive. I've never seen the film. I'm uh, about to get it, and he's, I've got it. Oh right, yeah, because I won the first game, didn't I? I still don't know all the special moves. I'm definitely going to lose to Raiden now. Or Raiden, whatever he's fucking called. Well, maybe not. Fucking hell! That's a bastard. Oh, I did, what did I do there? Well, I kicked his ass, whatever. Right. Let's see who gets this. Gets this, and I'll play the, um, the N64 game. Ain't got cutscenes, is it? <laughs> Hello, Mad Commodore, how are you doing? Oh, he beat me this time. Bastard. Damn. Come on. Come on. Kick him. Hey. Ah. No. Come on. Gotcha, you bastard. Right, okay, we'll leave it there and we'll play the final game. No, Mickey's Speedway on the N64. Right, this will be the final game of the night until I go to the quizzes. Right, where's the N64? So, let's see if I've got it first. <laughs> Mickey Speedway USA, yes I have it. 
Now don't give me any problems, you bastard. And it looks like it has already. Oh god, oh no, here it goes. Oh, well, it's obviously going to be a Disney game, wasn't it? <laughs> that just had to be a Disney game. Alright, let's start the fucking things. Alright! Rumble pack, I haven't got a rumble pack if I have, I wouldn't, don't know what it is, never owned an N64. Right, what do we do, A or B? Right, uh... I'll be goofy. Probably one of the least annoying Disney characters. Select mode. What? Traffic troubles. One way mode. Oh dear. Into the amateur. Oh, can we just play the game? Oh, come on! Oh, you can't go sit through this bullshit. Can't skip it. I'm not fucking interested. Just get on with the game. It's a racing game. We need to watch all this bullshit. Remember, one in a Good luck. We we'll fucking race now, please. Here we go. Disney version of Super Mario Kart. Here we go. Right, that's, that's a break. Right, that's turbo. Do we have turbo? I can't find it if we do have turbo. It's playing quite nicely. Considering it's a Disney fucking game. It's definitely better than that, um, whatchamacallit, that South Park game, that South Park racing game. Graphics look much better on this. Oh, it's great. No, where's the turbo? Do we have a turbo button? Or is it because it's a Disney game we're not allowed turbo buttons? Yeah, South Park Rally, that's the one. This certainly looks better than that. So we're doing a figure of eight. If I do this race, then because I'm getting quite thirsty now. <laughs> yes, I let. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a good racing game. I'll give it that. The only drawback is it's a fucking Disney racing game. <laughs> Bloody Disney games. I've, yay! I won. Yep, it's eight o'clock. It's quiz part time. Quiz time. We need to review John with some beer. <laughs> well, it ain't gonna be much of a review because I don't get pissed. 
Yep, the time has come. It's obviously come. Clansman, that's a good game. I probably may have to do a review of that at some point. Right. I'm going to go and get my beers. You choose what you want to, what should be the first game of the night. I'll be right back. Decided. <laughs> Jurassic World is on ITV2. Okay, I've got them all on disc anyway. Hmm. Yes. Look, day, look, look forward to this day. <laughs> For this moment. <laughs> I oh, know. I just put I put on um, Family Feud to start off with. Seems slower tonight. Right. Okay, here we go. Select one family. No. We'll come back as returning champions, yes. 
Very many one. Use the arrow keys to choose name. Should we go for the top or should we go? Did we choose them last time? Uh, hello, Andreas. How you doing? Right. Um, disc. I'll insert disc. This two. Six. Right. Better not speed it up because it'll just keep going. Right, a few missing tonight. A B. Who's A B? Oh we Amiga Bang! Amiga Bang, yeah. Amiga Bang. Era 42, Starshine, Pete. Pete hasn't been on a lot of streams. I've, I've sometimes talk to it. Sometimes talk to him. I think Amiga Bang was on it last week. I think Era was on Era 42 was here last week, I think. Starshine was here last week. Right, sorry. Name a position on a on a baseball team. <laughs> a pitcher. Pitcher. Top answer. Well done, Jason. A wanker. Yeah. <laughs> right. What do you want to do? Do you want to play our pass? <laughs> American sports are oh, great. If it's motorsports, I don't mind motorsports from America. So I did like gay rugby. Yeah, gay rugby, American football. All right, classics. Oh yeah. Oh dear. Hope right. Hope. City boys rounders. As Del Boy would say. So what do you want to do? You want to pay our play or pass? <laughs> oh, he says pass. Hand it over to the Smiths. Second base. My Jesus, it is about baseball, isn't it? Alright. All right. Oh, first base, second base, third. How many bases are there? Three bases, aren't there? Outfield. So first base, second base, third base, and fourth base. Pitcher was was the top answer. <laughs> well, that's centre field. Out for sh oh, sh shoot stop. <laughs> oh, I think we could steal this if they get it wrong, get free wrong. We could steal. Yes, it's a Commodore 64 game. Oh, that's too wrong. A catcher, could be. Catcher. Oh, oh. They got it, Matt. They got it. They just got it. I must have heard you. Oh, one more to get. No, what could it be? 
<laughs> wow, what do you reckon? A cup of jaster? Uh, a bowl? No, that's a pitcher, isn't it? A bowler. What a... Uh, fielders? No, that's... Um, that's cricket, isn't it? A player? Of course. A player? Yeah, but what are they called? What are the batsmen's called? No. Ah, oh, what are they bloody called? I don't know. We've already had a picture. That's the top answer. Base, no, because it's first base, second base. So we've had two of us. Bat yeah, but they're not called batters, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know nothing about baseball. I don't know. What do you reckon we should say? Yeah, we've had pitchers. We've had pitchers. A keeper? Do they have... A fielder? Do they have... Field? First... I think we've had first base. Batsman. We've had pitchers. Keeper. Keeper. Fielder. Let's try a fielder. No, it's not fielder. I don't know what it could be. Home stop. Umpire. Good one. Umpire. Yes. Oh, third base. So we could have said that. Tell me how many hours per day babies sleep. What's this setup? What what setup? We can. <laughs> It's a Commodore 64, if you're wondering what this game's on. Six hours? Well, we can find out. Oh! I think we got it. We got uh, got on the board at least, but... I think there's some better answers out there, but... I don't know. <laughs> oh! 20, 20 hours? Wish babies would sleep for fucking 20 hours. And they're playing. Four hours, they've said. Fifteen hours, bloody hell. It's on the Commodore 64 and it's called Family Feud. Eighteen hours? Fuck. Never known babies to sleep that long. Six or nine on. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I got one wrong.
Oh, we can we can steal, we can steal, and no one's got a top answer yet. Oh, we can steal eight hours. Have we had eight hours? I don't believe we've had eight hours yet. So we can try eight hours. Right, eight hours. Is it on the board? Yes. So we stole the money. Well done, Maltese. Oh, 12 hours is the top answer. 14 hours. 10 hours. 3 hours. Right. Okay. Name someone connected with the Civil War. How the fuck are we supposed to know that? Full name. How do we expect to get this one? Who knows anything about the Civil War? Johnny Reb? Abraham Lincoln? It was the uh, probably the American Civil War. Hang on, why am I mistyping? Abraham Lincoln. It's the second answer. Okay, DVD, don't matter. General Lee. I thought that was a car. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right, who's going to... Oh, already... already. General Custer. Oh! So what do you want to do? Do you want to play our pass? Oh, it's in the fucking wrong window. That's why. I would probably pass this one because it things... I don't know. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Multi says pass. We'll pass. Yeah, I think this one's going to be quite difficult. Grant, Ulyss Ulysses Grant. See, I would never have guessed that. Okay, well, it's up to everyone, really. Robert E. Lee. That must be the General Lee. Oh, can we steal a wonder? I probably would say Johnny Reb. So that's the only other one I know. <laughs> oh, if you can't think of anything, I'll try Johnny Reb. Wayne K. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hello, Starshine. How you doing? John Wilkes Booth. Well, we can try. See if it's. No, what am I doing? I've got it in the wrong bloody window. Sorry. Damn it. Oh, oh, hang on. Jefferson Davis. Don't try that. Oh, what do you reckon? Jefferson Davis or 
John Wilkes Booth. Oh no! I fucking forgot to. Oh shit! That was my fault. Damn it! Yeah. Ah, oh, it was William Sherman anyway. Name the best teenage years. Is there any? They're all bastards at that age. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Probably 15, I don't know. Best... 13, let's say 13. I was only joking when I said that. It ain't there, shit. Fifth, I said, what did I say? Oh, I said 13, didn't I? Probably 18, I would say 18. But this is America, they can't drink until they're 21. They playing, they're playing. Oh! I think they're still at school when they're eight, until they're 18 over there. Nineteen. Nineteen's up there. I liked I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. I preferred it when I left school though. No. We're gonna say eight I'd probably say seventeen, eighteen. Maybe eighteen. Two for eighteen. Oh, we can steal, we can steal. Alright, let's say 18. Is it up there? Yes! Well done. Ain't the top answer, but we'll see what is the top answer. 16's the top answer. And 17. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And we didn't win. What a bastard. <laughs> uh, what do you want to do? Have another round of this or should we play something else? Oh yeah, you're a teenager. You're 18, aren't you? And so is um, Classics. Probably the only two teenagers in this group. <laughs> Oh, for you. oh, you're 19, aren't you? Oh, 20. Be 20. Okay. Oh, no. Right, I'll tell you what. Okay, we'll go for the Angman game. Um, the problem with the Angman game, they, they don't randomise. I'll have to choose another set of questions because they don't randomise on this. Hello Lee, how you doing mate? Lee from Australia. Right, group four. Let's go for group four because I don't think we've had group four. 7 a.m. Bloody hell. <laughs> it's eight, almost half past eight over here. Okay, A. Here we go. Yes, it's got an A in it. Oh, has it got a B in it? No B. Sudden noises. 
E. Right, it's got an E in it. So it begins with A, ends with E. Right, an L. No L. Is that an I? No, yes, it's got an I. Has it got an O? No O. A new beginning. Aye, Scots from Australia as well. An R. No R. A U. No U. A D. Yes, it's got a D in it. So, has it got an M in it? No M. Has it got a G in it? No G. It's already said uh, advice. Right. Right. Advice. Is it advice? V. Has it got a V? Yes, it's got a V. So we've got two um, Clansmen, Starshine and Gambit saying advice. And it's advice. Well done. Right, okay. Right, DVD says C. No C. Has it got an S? No S. Has it got an M? No, it's no M. Has it got a H? No H. Has it got an E? Yes, it's got an E. Right, A, E, bloody hell, I've already said E, I, T, O, U, no, right, and Right, R. Yes, it's got an R. We've already said T, said R. Has it got an S? No, nope, we've already said S. Has it got an N? No N. Oh. Reactive. Has it got. No, it can't be reactive because we haven't got an R. Have we? Yep, no. We've, there's no R in it. Fearing. Has it got an F? No F. Oh, 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 is it bearing? Is it, have we got a B? Could it be a B? Otherwise he's going to be hung. No! Where, what? Whirly, whirly, whirly. Right. Yep. <laughs> an O. Yes, it's got an O in it. A T. Yes, it's got a T in it. Has it got an A? No, I didn't push Z. Oh, shit. That was my fault. A. Yep, it's got an A in it. E. I. I. And a U. How oh, about a V? No V. R. No R. An M. Yes, it's got an M in it. P. No P. B. No B. An 
and N. No N. Oh, hang on, hang on. Almost. Two for almost. Has he got an L? Yes, he's got an L. And it, has he got an S? Yes, almost it is. Well done. Starshine, Clansman. Classics. Gambit. <laughs> Excuse me. Right, okay, we'll have one more round. <laughs> if only. If only if I can get into the program. An A. An E. Oh, it's got an E in it. Oh, it's got two E's in it. Hi. Oh, no, oh, oh, I ain't putting that. Come on, I'll go for L. You should put a Y, no Y. A V, no V. A G. No G. An R. Yes, it's got an R. <laughs> an L. No, nope, already said L. An S. Oh, it's got two S's. A C. No C. Oh, one more. What do you reckon? Do you want to go for the guest express? Right, if we let's have a look. Could it be express? X. Yes, I think it is. Now, can it be a P? Yes, it's express. Well done. What we'll do now, we might come back to that. We'll go to play a bit of Trivial Pursuit. Right, okay. bit slow today. Oh, F, right. Okay. A six. Oh, straight away we can go for a wedge. Silver screen. Never known the ping before. Who won an Academy Award for his part in Cat Blur? Cat Blur. Lee Marvin, hundred percent. Our hundred percent is that. <laughs> Remember last week. <laughs> Right, we got two for Lee Marvin then. Okay, is it Lee Marvin? It's Lee Marvin. Well done, classics. Well done, Stefano, and well done, Jason. That's our first wedge. Brilliant. Right. What do you want to go? We can go for orange or. <laughs> 
excuse me, orange or red, orange or red. Right, classics is red first, right. Who played Bootsy in the Angry Game? Bootsy? Has anyone seen that? William Hartnell, just a guess. It's more than what I know. Keith Williams, Kenneth Williams. Oh yes, Mitchell. Oh yes, I can't do his. I can't do that voice. Alfie Bass. I don't know. We have got interesting answers there. Let's fire Barbara Windsor. Let's find out. It's Alfie Bass. Well done, Stefano. What works? Right, a four. What's your old grey? A one. What do you want to go for? Light blue or orange? Wins the David. Oh, were you doing that, old lady? <laughs> orange. <laughs> Which Beatle married in 1966? The unlucky one. John Lennon, Paul McCartney. Two for Lennon, two for, two for McCartney. Three for Paul, one for George Harrison. John Lennon, let's find out. It's George Harrison. Well done, Stefano. A one. Right, grey. A four. What do you want to get? Oh, grey again. A three. What are we going for? Oh, grey again. Um, what do you want to go for? Blue or silver screen? Excuse me. Classic says red. Well, well, yeah, we could go for red. Silver in the middle, isn't it? <laughs> Who chaired? Who, Who chaired? Call my bluff. Who chaired? Call my bluff. I know the guy. And I know the show. I can't remember his name. <laughs> bit lag, bit laggy. Oh. Nah, I don't think it was Frank Boff. Frank Muir. Let's find out. Robert Robert Robinson. Probably are. I think no one got this one. Well, I didn't know it. <laughs> right. Um, ah. Right. What, do you want to, what colour do you want to go for? Right. So we can go for orange. I suppose we can go anywhere. I always just tend to stick to the outer board. Silver screen. Okay.
What British actor won an Oscar playing alongside Dudley Moore in Arthur? We had this one before. I think we've had them all before. Sir John Gill, or whatever his name is, 100%. Right, John Gurland. Yeah. And Classics got it right, and so did Stefano, and so did DVD. So did Maltine, so did Gambit. Correct. Brilliant, well done. And so did DVD. Right, two. What do you want to go for? RPM or blue colour? Or the light blue colour or RPM? Light blue, okay. Is that? Right, Starshine says blue. They're both blue, I know, but... <laughs> Right, which 1963 song claimed you would cry if it happened to you? Was it a spout song, Kicking the Bollocks? Yes, it's my part. No, it's, it's my birthday. It, Crying, it's my party. I thought it was it's my birthday. It's my part. No, it's it's my birthday. I cry if I want to. I think it's birthday, but could be party. It's my party. Oh, I thought it's it's my birthday. So, um, Maltese, Starshine, and Gambit, and Clansman was right. Well done. I thought it was birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. It's my party. Oh, fuck it. I don't know. One. Right, we can go choose our subject or go for shitty colour. Right, we'll choose, the, choose silver screen then. How many films were made in the Centrinian series? I think there was four. We're not counting the new ones. Six. Yeah, but don't count the new ones, the two new ones. I thought it could be four. Let's find out. Six, 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 four, seven, seven. I would agree with four. Let's find out. Four! Well done! <laughs> oh, come on! Right, silver screen. RPM. Red, light blue, orange or shitty colour. Go for everyone. Right, silver screen. Which Dutch city had a bridge too far from the film of that name? Which Dutch city had a bridge too far from that from the film of that name? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. No, which Dutch city? Had a bridge too far. Rotterdam? Yeah, Amsterdam. Amsterdam, of course, cool. Amsterdam, yeah. Um, oh, oh, fuck it. Arnhem? Rotterdam, what the fuck? I meant Amsterdam. Well, it was Arnhem. <laughs> right, 
four. So what do you want to do? Orange, orange, shitty colour, RPM, silver screen or red? RPM says classics. What group had a hit with even the bad times are good in 1967? Traffic and Tenico, what's that? A train, Trenicos. All right, so we've got two questions, we've got two traffic order Trenicos. Let's find out. The Tremolo, uh, yeah, I'll give yes, Maltese, you, you've got that one right. Well done. Four. Well, we need to come out because we're getting nowhere being in the middle. So let's go for red because we ain't got a choice. But then again, it doesn't matter. It could go anywhere. In Dad's Army, which actor often cried, Don't panic, Mr. Mannering? Oh, what was his name? Which actor? Went half a low, was it? Clive Dunn, yes. Well done, Clive Dunn. Well done, Classics. Well done, Gambit. <laughs> I couldn't get into it, Clansman. I couldn't get into it. Right, what do you want to do? Go for silver screen or light blue? Classic says silver screen. <laughs> Who played the title role in the film MacGyver? No, McVicker. MacGyver. McVicker. Roger Daltrey, 100%. Robert Daltrey, well done, classics. Well done, Stefano. Right. Oh, shitty colour wedge. This has to be, remember the wedge rule, it has to be a correct answer. Which actress was once engaged to Paul McCartney? Jane Asher, 100 percent ten percent Ooh. Is that Jane Asher? Ooh, two for Jane Asher. Are we Right, Jane Asher, that's two for Jane Asher. We're going for Jane Asher. Is it Jane Asher? It's Jane Asher! Well done! Well done, Starshine. Well done. Who, who got it right? It's classics as well. Well done. Well done, Jason. That's another wedge. Right, three, what do you want to go for? What do we got? So we got, we need to come this way. We need to go around this way of the ball. So we need to go for blue. So we've got the silver screen, shitty. Excuse me. It was all right. It wasn't one of my favourite comedies, um, Open All Hours, to be honest with you. All right, Mark Blaster, thank you for coming on, mate. Take care of yourself. Right, which... John Steinbeck novel gave James Dean a starring role, starring film role. East of Eden, two for East of Eden. One 
one rebel without a cause. So two for East of Eden, one rebel without a cause. Right, can it? All right. <laughs> Okay, what is it? Easter even or oh, Rebel Without a Course? Let's find out. Easter Beden, well done. Well done, Classics, well done, DVD. One. Six. Uh, well, we need to come this way, so to go for RPM. I've never seen Rebel without a cause. <laughs> what <laughs> what label did Mary Opkin record on? Films became great around the 60s. Yeah, I think you're right. I've not, to be honest with you, I've not seen any 50s films. Obviously, there was a couple of 50s, like obviously the James Bond era started then. Um, oh, what was the other one? Um, the Italian Job. I got the bullets. Best film ever made in 1951. What film was that in 51? I don't know, the films were different. Obviously, it wasn't none of this like we got now, you know, it was more tamer, wasn't it? Right. I think it was more family viewing back then. RCA, right, so Apple, oh, Apple 100%, Decca, guess, right, so we've got Apple RCA, but Apple 100%. Is it Apple? It's Apple! Well done, Maltese. Right. Right, we need to either go for blue or silver screen. We could go for shitty, but got more options on the outside. Right, silver screen. Was there a Presley film with the name of this tune? Jailhouse Rock, innit? Yes. Yes, his third film. Well done. DVD. Right, six all, we can go for an orange wedge. Who offered to exchange his American prison prisoners for 500 bulldozers in 1961? There isn't an Amiga version of uh, Baby Boomer. It only came out on the Amstrad, the Commodore 64 and the ZX Spectrum. Baby Boomer. Because otherwise I would have tried to find the Amiga version. 
Well, there's a standard Amiga, not a standard question version. But they're fucking way too hot. <laughs> Dang Win What? Dang Win Dang Lin Wang Dang Lin Wang Yeah it did. Uh, I think during the sixties I think you know I think things started to get a little bit more violent and you know swearing and things like that. Castro Kennedy This is a full wedge remember so we gotta be spot on So you need to agree Ah <laughs> uh, it's Doctor Strange Love I haven't seen that one I think the film I do remember from the 50s was the original War of the Worlds. Final Castro. Right, that's two for Castro. So, are you positive on Castro? Tell me if it's 100% and we'll go with it. Alright, we'll go with Castro. It's for a wedge. Is it Castro? It's Castro! Well done, Stefano. Who else said that? Scott. Well done. That's another wedge. Three. Okay, so we need to go to the top of the board now. So we need to go for red. What was Klinger's rank when the war ended? Sergeant, 100%. Okay. Yes, Sergeant. Well done, Classics. And well done, Starshine. Well done, Maltese. Right, so we've already got that, so we've got to go for the silver screen. Whose son? Tarek played eight-year-old Yuri Zhivago, I think that is Zhivago, in Dr. Zhivago. Of course it is, Zhivago. Never seen it. Sheriff. Mm. Sheriff. Almost show. Is everyone saying Sheriff? Is it Sheriff? It's almost Sheriff. Well done, Star Showing. Well done, Classics. And. Oh. Tarek. Omar. Okay, Stefan, I'll let you off that one. <laughs> okay. We're doing well, we're doing well. Let's go for orange. Well, you're doing well. <laughs> Who succeeded? Nikita, whatever the fucking crush, 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 something Russian, as the top man of the Soviet Union. <laughs> Excuse me. Who succeeded? Nikasha, Kulishnikas, blah, 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 something of him. Yeah, that. Stalin. Brenchinov. What do you call what do you call a Russian with three bollocks?
Who are you nick a bollock of? Right, pizza, okay. Are you going now, clansman? All right, you take care. You're always welcome back, mate. Good to see you back. Right, anyway. Brezhnev? Ah, oh, let's find out. Right, it's two for Brezhnev. It's le yeah, Brezhnev. Well done. Well done, Jason. Well done, Scott. Right, five. All right, we need... I'll right, go for the grey. A two, we can go for the red wedge. Red wedge, I said that first correctly. In UK, the BBF. This is in 1912, bloody hell. What TV Western series featured Blue and Big John Cannon? <laughs> Maverick? Just, I think films have just got shit. There's just nothing out there that I want to watch. It's absolutely nothing. Hi, Chaparral. Or is it Bonanza? Let's find out. It's the Hi, Chaparral. Well done. Jason, well done, Maltese. That's another wedge. I weren't paying attention there. I should have been. I should have been. Because if that was wrong, I would have accepted it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> right, okay. Right, two more to get. Right, we can go for... Uh, oh, let's go. Oh, we can go either way. Um, I don't know. Let's go this way. Six. Well, we need to go for shitty colour. What group backed Georgie Fame? <laughs> Do you know what? I've still never seen Scarface. I haven't seen a lot of these old classics. Oh, a bastard. <laughs> Mm 
Van Morrison. Only seen the 83 one. Right, Van Morrison. Well, let's find out. The Blue Flames. Oh, it's boring. Oh, okay, Matt. Right, no one got that one. I do agree. I do agree. Um, you know, everyone has different tastes in films and everything else. So, so yeah, I, I totally agree what you're saying, DVD. Right. Uh, right, what do you want to go for? Well, let's go for silver screen, actually. Go for... Actually, we, hang on, we need to go for... Well, actually, I'll let you choose because we have to either go for the blue one or the the other blue one. So it's up to you. All right, silver screen. I don't, I don't. If it's one of them long drawn out films and it's just a lot of more. If it's more drama than action, I would get bored of it. I wouldn't like it. I don't like films where there's too much drama and not much action. It's, it's, it, well, it's even the Godfather films I've never seen. Which regal sounding UK film of 1952 was voted 4th best US film of all time? <laughs> 83. Half drama, half action, all swearing. <laughs> never know. They were long films, to God, I've never seen them, but they were long films. I've not seen Goodfellas either, that's uh, Joe Pesci, isn't it? We got this. Did we? I don't re remember being a picture. We got this wedge at the start. Did we? I can't fucking I can't fucking remember. What's the answer? <laughs> That's funny because it was for a different colour wedge. Oh. Oh, I see. Time, gentlemen, please. Well, this is not. This ain't a wedge. Qu this ain't a wedge question, anyway, is it? All right. Okay. So, what we're going to say on this one, time, gentlemen, please. Twelve Angry Men. Let's find out. The African Queen. Nope, no one got this one. Right, three. Oh, I'll go for grey. Three again. Right, we need to go for grey. Six. Well, we'll have to go for blue. No, silver screen. Silver screen. Where did the Beatles make two two nine four appearances? Yeah, I, I thought that. It wasn't which I don't know what I was fucking thinking. Alright, Starshine says the caravan the cavern club. The cavern club. Do 
294 Beetle. Right, two for the Cavern Club. Right, okay, let's say, let's say the Cavern Club. It's the Cavern Club. Well done, Starshine. Well done, Maltese. Right, uh, shitty colour. Oh, let's go for grey. Two. Oh, I've already got it. I've already got it. So. <laughs> Excuse me, we either go for the two blues, so what do you want to go for? Red or RPM? Lagging. Shitty colour, shitty colouring. Right, RPM. Oh, it helps me the beer. <laughs> I look forward to Saturday night so I can have a beer. Are you losing tonight? It's another fucking Elvis question, I know that. It's tonight. And well done, Starshine. Right. Ah, oh, we've already got it. Uh, so red or silver screen we've already got the wedge but we need to go for the two blues right silver screen how many hard boiled eggs did Paul, Mc Paul, Paul, Mc Paul McCartney then Paul Newman eat to win a bet in call and Luke 50 Gambit says 50 and Starshine says 8 that's a bit of a difference and that's one hell of a difference David E I think you could die on that Gambit says 50 right okay We'll go with 50. It's 50. Well done, Gambit. <laughs> right, five. Right, we've already got that, so really we need to go for orange. There you go, Matt, if you still is, this is a question for you. Who did Manchester United buy from Turin for £100,000 in 1962? Or whoever likes football. Knows their history of football. Because it's Manchester United, I couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, Dennis Law. Okay, I will agree with you there because uh, you know your stuff. It's Dennis Law. Well done, Matt. Six. Right. Uh, uh, let's go for grey. Oh, come on. Right. Silver screen or shitty colour? No says. Oh, silver screen. Yeah, of course. Sorry, I was slow on the uptake there. Have you have you seen the new? No, I haven't. I don't think I've bought any new Blu-ray like latest films. Right, what film 
That's Marlon Brando riding into Ribsville, Wrightsville, and taking over Bleaker's Calf. Right, the classic says the wild one, 100%. Is it the wild one? It's the wild one. Yes, you're absolutely right there, classics. Well done. Excuse me. Six. Oh, come on. Five. Oh, we can go for the blue wedge. Blue wedge. What was the name of the ship in Hammond's in his 56 mystery novel? <laughs> I wish YouTube, right, will come up with something that if you had the option to use your voice in these live chats, would you? If you could use a microphone to talk in these live streams, would you talk in these live streams? If you had the option to. Starshine shit. Yes, Starshine would. So would Maltese. Oh, game it, you wouldn't. Yeah, well, I know what you sound like, DVD, so. I think that, I don't know why YouTube, bloody YouTube won't do that. They could do that. You know, just have a push a button to if you want to have a talk. Yeah, just saying what we're doing here. I'm surprised they haven't done that. They can do that. I mean, they was doing that years ago with Yahoo Chat. If you remember Yahoo Chat, they was using voice and but it was all text based but that was good fun that was Yahoo Chat. Really good fun that was. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, it'd be nice to hear you know, it's just be nice to hear different accents. Just be you know just be nice, be great. <laughs> right, this is, what is the answer to this question? In what was the name of this ship in Hammond's Innings 56 mystery novel? The Mary? Oh, it would be great to hear a proper Geordie. It would be great. I mean, Mark. Mark. He, I mean, he's a Geordie. I mean, I can understand what Mark says. You know what I sound like? You. I think you're, you're... I don't know. I've never I've never heard you. I, yeah, I have heard. Of course I've heard you. On your... On your... Um, your like, Twitch. Yeah. I'd say Manchester, Yorkshire, sent, you sent me a video. Did you send me a video? I don't remember that. Oh, Milton Keynes. I don't know the accent of Milton Keynes though. Where is that near? I basically have a Croydon accent. Apparently Croydon has its own accent. Never knew that, because I was born and raised in Croydon. Emil Hempstead. <laughs> right. Anyone know the answer? Milton Keynes. I'm just 
thinking we could do a Google Hangouts one time. But that'd just be brilliant. If we could all talk, you know, that'd be just brilliant. That'd just be awesome, just to hear each other's accents. I just think that'd be brilliant. All right, Jason, you take care, mate. Mary dear, Mary dear. What's that? What's that? What's that on, Stefano? This schooled server for us. What's what's that for? I, I think that'd be good. But I wonder if we could do that and do the live stream at the same time. Might fuck up my internet more, but I don't know. Discord for the chatting. What? Um, all right. All right. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Oh, I was. Oh, well, well, if you could, you could do that one time, I guess. Be fun. I think that'd be good fun. Right. What are we going to say for this answer? Um, Daisy. Let's find out. The Mary Deer. Did someone say that? Yes, Classic said that. Well done. I think someone else did say that. I can't remember. It's a wedge. Of course it was full wedge. Of course it was. Well done. Right. Okay. Let's go this direction because we've got the RPM wedge. I think it would be brilliant. I think that would be awesome to talk to each other. What group sang do wrong, do da do wrong, wrong, yeah, that to do wrong, wrong, and then kiss, Lily kiss me? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I can, I can think of it, but I can't remember. Could I do my live stream at the same time? The crystals, okay. Oh wow, I can do my live stream at the same time. That'd be fucking even better. Well done, Stefano. Well done, Classics. That'd be brilliant. We'll have to do that next week. If I'm about next week doing a live stream, we'll have to do that. Because that'd be brilliant. That's to be shitty colour. We need a 15A or an 8. So do you obviously have the, well obviously it's audio only isn't it, but it doesn't matter about the webcam because, ah wait a minute, it doesn't matter as long as I can hear you, because you can hear me on my stream, I don't know if it, it's going to clash, that's the only thing, if I'm live streaming and this other, I don't know if it'll clash with something, I don't know, we'll have to find out. We can use your mobile. Right. What actors married what actor married Kathy McGowan? We'll have to find that we'll have to try that, because that'll be interesting. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Just gonna you know go for you know what.
<sighs> Sorry about that. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> Star Shine, you're going to get drunk. <laughs> I might be drunk next week. It's my birthday and I'm having a couple of drinks. Happy birthday and I don't blame you. Hey, you teach what? I teach you it. Teaching me what? What's that? New live stream Discord. Okay, we'll try that. Um, just for catching up with a no sim. My Facebook page. Whoa, a few of you are. Steve McQueen, right? Well, what? Steve McQueen? Could it be Steve McQueen? We can. <laughs> we'll have to look into that. We we'll definitely have to look into that. All right. Where is it? Steve McQueen. Let's find out. No, it's not. And she so said you can you can use that discard on the phone because that gives me another option. I can set that to 4G. That won't interfere with the internet, and I can hear what you're saying out of my phone and continue and just do my normal live stream on the computer. Yeah, but not everyone's comfortable on video. I know that, but if we can just have the audio, that'd be something. Because I can't, obviously can't use the video on that. I probably can, but I don't know nothing about it. But I don't want to complicate things as, as I'm hosting the stream. Yes, you, you don't want to come on camera on a DVD. I, I, I don't know, but... Not everyone's comfortable being on video. <clears throat> it's fair enough. If we can do voice chat, you know, that's something. You know, all, all, all we need is the audio, you know, as long as we can hear each other. I think that'd be quite fun. What public car park opened in London on 15th of October 1962? The M25. No. <laughs> Joke. Okay, I'll have to look into that discard. <laughs> yeah, but that M25 didn't open to the 80s. That became the world's largest car park. It's not the sort of... Oh, what you sort of games you're going to be playing in, Starshine? <laughs> what was it in the night? I don't know when the M25 opened. It's in the 80s, I'm guessing it was the 80s. Or was they building it in the 80s? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we can test it. We can test it. I'll let Stefano sort it out, you know. We can test it maybe next Saturday. Because no, that's how I know when everyone's on. Ah, oh, bottom. Yep. There's the group, the bottom group. Did you like the young ones, Shout Starshine?
Right, so do we know this one? Netflix, uh, I've got the DVD. London Road, let's find out. Hyde Park is in London. Oh, I do. I prefer phys physical media. I Oh, here we go. We can go for RPM music for the last wedge. I thought Young Ones was good. I, it's hard to. It's really difficult because for me, I like the Young I watched that when I was really young. I, I just loved it. It's just brilliant. But then the bottom was more the nineties. I got the comedy more. I don't know, it's hard for me to say because they're both fantastic. What group strolled into the charts with Jennifer e Eccles, whatever that is? Right, the Holly says Stefano. It's either bottom or the young ones for me. You know, they were both great and I can still watch them both. They're brilliant. The master, oh, right, the Hollies, okay. It's the Hollies, well done Stefano, well done Maltese. And that's another wedge. Final wedge, I forgot all about that again. Right, let's get to the center. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> right, what's the subject gonna be? Silver screen. So we got our first wedge on the first go, and we got our quicker get to the middle in the first go. Who played the title role in the film? Isadora. Isadora. For the game. No Googling, because we don't cheat on this channel. Well, I don't anyway. Oh, Stefano said Vanessa Redgrave. Redgrave? Vanessa Redgrave. Is it our? Is that a confident Vanessa Redgrave? I think you're right because you're pretty spot on. Hmm. <laughs> That was by accident. <laughs> Is it Vanessa Redgrave for the game? It's Vanessa Redgrave. Well done, Stefano. And well done, Maltese. Yes, that's the game. You know what that means. <laughs> I like the week. <laughs> okay. You know what that means now. It probably will fall off. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> right. Trivia. Oh, Joker. Joker again. And, oh, it has to be music. Who recorded the album Misplaced, Misplaced Childhood? Aretha Franklin, Europe, or Marillion? Uh. Excuse me. What? Next Ginger Banker? What the fuck are you talking about? Bruh. 
You have 4,000 sons. <laughs> right, everyone. Oh, subs. 4,000 subs. Yeah, it's great. It's for my shitty channel, that's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Right, it's Marillion. Well done, everyone. Joker again, oh. Star question already. Right. What colours, what are the colours of the Belgian flag? Red, yellow, green and red. Blue, red, well there's no space there. Black, yellow and red. Right, C, 100%, C, 100%, right, let's go for C. I don't think we've had this question before. It's correct, well done everyone. Solid white. <laughs> Surrender. <laughs> right, okay, let's go for Joker. Joker again. Has to be sports. Where is Trent Bridge Cricket Grounds? Nottingham, Birmingham or Leeds? Starshine says Birmingham is from Birmingham. Sean's from Birmingham. If Sean's Sean still here? Are you still here, Sean? How the fuck? Lim playing offices? What? How the hell did you know I live I lived or work there? How the hell did you know I work there? Scoreline update, hello. Nottingham right next to Nottingham Forest Football Club, hundred percent. Okay. Okay, right, right, hang on, hang on, we got C saying 100% is Leeds. Right, hang on a minute. Oh, right, okay. Hang on a minute, hang on a Right, it's Birmingham, is it? Right, everyone's saying Birmingham, all right. Okay. Let's say Birmingham. No! No! Oh well, don't worry about it. It's only a game. Joker. Joker again. Hello, Hera, how are you doing? Well, I'll say hello to I'm sure you've you know everyone. Cla Cla Clansman came back. Never been to Birmingham. Never. Well, actually, I've never been north of London. North of London. North. North of the country. I've never been north. Right. Musical show business. Multis is music. How many members are there in the group? Five star. Obviously, there's five. Five, four, or seven. It's a trick question. D. 
Right, A, A, like two for five, three for five. <laughs> Correct, well done. Everyone said five, well done indeed. Has to be music again? Which of the following bands are not Australian? Midnight Oil, Tin Machine or In Excess? I'm sure we've had this one millions of times. I think it was Tin Machine, was it? Two for Tin Machine, three for Tin, tin Machine. Is it Tin Machine? Of course it is. Well done, everyone. Star question. Who invented the telegraph? Edison, Morse or Bell? Wasn't it Morse? Or is it but no bell invented the phone edison invented sound recording sound so it must be morse edison recorded sound well recorded his first first person to ever record his own voice or record anything That's all right. No, you know, I worked there years ago, mate. I worked there years ago. Doesn't matter. That's all right. No, no, I just thought, how the hell did you know I was at Limpo? And of course, yeah, I've, I uploaded a video, didn't I? Of course, a party video, yeah, that's all right. When we went to the work, the work party. Crap, man. <laughs> oh, Bowie was the lead singer of it. Okay. Um. Oh, I didn't know that. I think Edison was the first person to hear his own voice on a recording. So it's Morse, right, we say Morse, okay, it's saying Bell, Telegraph, so we're saying Bell or Morse, what do you reckon? Oh, that was a big bang. Right, B or C, Morse or Bell. Right, B, right, we'll go with B because the, the thousand percent has come. Is it Morse? No, it's not Morse! Fucking hell, I would have guessed Morse. It must have been Bell. Must have been Bell. Fucking hell. Oh well. We'll know next time. I thought well, I ran out of time. It wasn't. So, it must have been Bell, because you need telephone cables to run the telephones, I guess. The telegraph poles. Right, what are we going to go for? Music, trivia, trivia, music, or show business? Morse code was, um, I don't know, it was the same principle. But you've got to remember, Morse code was a lot later than telephones. Right, so trivia, trivia got there first. Which model of motor car is the Accord? That's the Honda of Honda, isn't it? Honda Accord. Yeah, telephone. It does, it does. But then you got to remember, Morse. That was invented way after the telephone. So, obviously, Graham Bell must have invented it because the telephone was a lot earlier invention. It's correct, well done. Um, music or show business?
Music, okay. Which of the following is not a Queen album? Europe, Works, or A Kind of Magic? I think it's Europe, isn't it? Well, you've got to remember, telephone use telegraph poles. How else are you going to communicate with someone else? It makes perfect sense. Because Morse codes weren't, didn't come to the war. And phones were about before that. Right, A, it's, it's works. I got that one wrong, didn't I? Bloody hell, that was a big bang. No! Oh, why did I go for fucking B? I went for B, that was my fucking fault. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know you said A. I went for B for fucking some reason. Sorry, that was that was my time. I'm getting caught up with all the conversations. That's why. Um, yeah, anyway, I apologise for that. That was my fault. Um, trivia, show business or music? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not enjoy I'm not going to blame my pleasure. I do this always on a Saturday night. That's no excuse. Right, music. Right. Who had a hit where who had a hit album called Raintown? Five Star, Deacon Blue or Genesis? Bloody hell, we've lost... We lost 30p to them. One of... 10p of that was my fault. Right, so B 100% this time. Deacon Blue. Right, I'll get this one right this time. Right, Deacon Blue. It's correct, well done. Show business or trivia? <laughs> Classics is trivia. Tyre is a port of which country? Lebanon, Greece, or Israel? Classics is Lebanon. A hundred percent. Let's go for it. Correct, well done. Let's do trivia again. Which type of creature is an anil, anilid, anilid? A worm, a musk, what, a bird? Here's Morgan. <laughs> so, what was your ring? It was Bell or Edison? Not Edison. Either Ed so Bell or Morse. I honestly thinking it was, of course it was Bell. He invented the telephone, of course it was. All Morse was. You know what I mean. I mean, you can you can talk to someone over a, using a bit of string. Two things in your, you know. <laughs> right, always saying worm hundred percent. Okay. What? What are you talking about? 
It's a worm, well done. It's a sports question. How many nations have won the World Cup? 27, 6 or 14. We're talking about when this game came out. I don't know, it was in the it was in the 80s. Late 80s. What are you talking about classics? Right, mm, Gambit says six. I used to read the... Ah, oh, you don't read papers. Who reads papers these days? They're just full of crap. Oh, right. <laughs> Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea, Starshine. That's a good idea. Um, so we're it's two for B. How many nations have won the World Cup? As low as six. Really. It's news, and I don't like news, because it's full of bad news, so why would I want to get involved with it? <laughs> right, are we going to say six? That's two for B. Let's say B, then. It's correct. Well done. Fucking hell, as low as that. I can't believe that. What metal is used in thermometers? Mercury, lead, or aluminium? How the hell do you do that text, Classics? Okay, if it's telegraph. I honestly thought, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. Right, so three for A, it's Mercury. Right, A, it's Mercury. Let's find out. It's Mercury, well done. We finally busted the grid. And lost 30p. 30p! That could have bought me 30 little sweets on a pick -a mix back in the day. Right. Trivia. Show business. Trivia, sports or trivia. Right. DVD says show business. I don't know. I just don't read. I just don't like reading. I just don't like reading. I only read when I have to read. That's the only time I read. In the final scenes of King Kong, which building did he stand on? The Eiffel Tower? No. The Chrysler Building? No. It's the Empire State Building. Well done everyone that said that. Sport or show business? <laughs> I like to read, uh, not read, I like to watch the documentaries or something like that on things. I just hate reading. Just hate reading. Right, two for sports. So Classics and Panini says sports. Okay. Excuse me. What often is tennis Davis Cup played? Every five years, every two years, or every year? Don't like tennis. Right, every five years? Welcome back, Jason. Oh, 
I don't mind text adventure games, but I just don't like playing them every fucking five minutes like Andrew Heather always requests. But he hasn't been requested some. He ain't been requesting for a while. So good. <laughs> I don't mind them, but I just don't want to play them all the time. Right. So we got every year. Starshine says every year. <laughs> right. Right. Are we saying, right, looks like every year. Okay, let's go for every year. Correct, well done. Has to be trivia. Which metal has chemical symbol SN? Tin, silver or gold? Right, tin. The hospital. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hospital? What's this got to do with which metal chemical symbol is this in? Right, 800% it's tin. <laughs> right, okay, it's tin. Let's find out. Is it tin? Of course it's tin. Well done. Right, Joker. Star question. What planet takes 687 days to orbit the Sun? Mars, Saturn, or Jupiter? I say Mars. Because it's the next planet away from us, so I'll say Mars. And Starshine will seems to agree. The big red one, well that'll be Jupiter, wouldn't it? No, because hang on. What do you mean the big red one? That's small, it's smaller than Earth. The red planet, that's it, yeah. Why not I fucking it's Jupiter's red, isn't it? It's a gas planet. It's a big massive fucking, it's the biggest planet in our solar system, isn't it? Right, it's, we'll say Mars, I think it's Mars. Because the Mars a day helps you work, rest and play. And of course it's right, well done everyone. We busted the grid, again. Right, trivia, show business. Trivia show business. <laughs> trivia show business. Or trivia. Well, no, it's trivia show business, isn't it? Alright, uh, Gambit, thank you for coming on, mate. Take care of yourself. Right, classics of sport. We ain't got sport. What are you fucking talking about, sport? It's going, we've been playing this for nine months now. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, show business, okay. We go for show business. Oh, we're backed up. We're back up to 570 now. What was the name of Roy Rogers Horse? Champion of Roy Champion of Champion of Wonder Horse Silver or Trigger? How's it going, Dave? How's it going, Dave? 
All right, one for B, one for... Whoa, 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 whoa. B, C, B, or... Whoa, what are we going for here? Is it Champion of Wonder Horse? Yeah, hi ho silver, yeah, that's Lone Rangers. <laughs> How can you forget to eat? Come on. You're hungry, you eat. <laughs> right, are we saying trigger? Everyone seems to be saying trigger. No, not me, multi saying B. No, that was um, Lone Ranger's horse. So, um, Roy Rogers was Trigger. Right. Yeah, because Roy Rogers had him stuff. Yeah, of course. Joker, well done. Has to be trivia. Go for that one. How many MPs are elected to Parliament? 520, 650 or 710? Right, 650, 2 for B. Right, 100% right, would we'll go for B, 650. And it's correct, well done. Joker. What what is the capital of Zambia? Hurrah <laughs> Cape Town or Luskia. And I'll be right back. Right, okay. No, not quite, Maltese, not quite. Man, if it was a poo break, I'd be at least about 20 minutes. <laughs> right, Zambia, right, okay. A is Zambia, all right, we got <laughs> B is South Africa, yes, that is true. Right, we're saying A. Right, let's say A is her. No, it's not! <laughs> oh, no! Okay. Alright, trivia, sports, music or show business.
Right, sports. What do you mean I read that wrong? What, her? It was A. I went for A, everyone said A. Oh, oh. Right, okay. Where would you find an whatever that is? Edge ba Baston Cricket Ground. Ed ba Edge Baston Cricket Ground. Kingston, Birmingham or Ipswich? Oh. oh, if I fucked up, I do apologise. Probably did. Oh, well. Right, Birmingham, 100%. Okay, Starshine sent to agree. Okay, B. It's correct, well done. Musical show business. Right, classics is sports. Oh, we can't do sports. Right, we'll do music. Panini says music. Okay. Whose first solo hit was called In the Air of the Tonight? That's Phil Collins. It was Phil Collins. Michael Jackson or Paul McCartney. Yes. Musical trivia. Music. Okay, Panini. Who is the lead singer with Tin Machine? It was David Bowie. Paul McCartney, no. Paul Weller, no. It's David Bowie. Hey, my name is David Bowie. Right, musical trivia. Music, okay. Which of the following is not an Elton John album? Ice on Fire, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, or Revenge? <laughs> Starshine's a big David Bowie um, out what? Fan, I should say, a fan. Revenge It's not A or B It's not A or B so it's C Right You love your Bowie Who was A? Not C Riv Mix what? No C or M. Right, what let's just say the just say the letter and I'll go with the letter. Right, revenge. Right. Classics is C. And it's correct, well done. Star question. SN is the postcode for which town? Southampton, Swindon or Sunderland? We've had this one many times before. I, I believe it's Swindon. Where you're from, um, Stefano? You're not far from Bristol, are you? You know, you know who lives in Bristol? Lawn Boys Post 1975 lives there. Right, B, 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 yes, All right, we go for B. I don't know, I don't know, I wouldn't say that, because I don't know. The Office, that was in Slough, and that was a shit. 
comedy. Right, Joker. Well, whatever, it's got to be better in London. Mind you, what ain't. <laughs> right, that's to be music. Who recorded the boy with a thorn in his side? Eurasia, the Smiths, or you too? <coughs> Excuse me. Right, 100%. The Smiths. Let's go with the Smiths. Because they love their crisps. And it's correct. Well done. Has to be trivia. What colour is an airline's black box? Purple, black or orange? It's orange. Well, I like the fact that it's in orange, as in orange, is the colour. Why well, fucking called it a black box then? Music has to be. How many seas arrived did Queen sing about? It's seven. Fourteen, seven or five. I didn't push that. I didn't push that. I pushed the wrong fucking button. That was my fault. I fucking... No, I pushed the wrong fucking button. That was my fucking stupid fault. Sorry. Fuck it. Right, sports of trivia. I owe you 10p. I owe you 10p. I'll have to share that out with all of you. So you'll probably get a penny each. <laughs> oh, you're going to send me the boys out? Oh, no, don't you dare do that. It'll cost you more. <laughs> It'll cost you more to, spend, to send the boys over and it's really worth it. You'll have to send the little boys. Oh, don't do that, because I'm not Jimmy Savile. Right. Um, what are we going for here? Sports or trivia? <laughs> oh, I've got a nice chip shop around the road, just around the corner from me. Right, sports it is. I don't believe it is. I've made a lot of fuck-ups tonight. You know, I don't drink no more than what I usually do. I'm just making fuck-ups. How many gold... How many Olympic gymnastics golds have Britain won? Has Britain won? Six, three or zero? Zero. Right, okay. Correct, well done. Zero. Where that crap? Music, it has to be music. How many members of Abba were... Oh, fuck off. We all know it's four. Sports or trivia? No, they don't. I'm sorry, I disagree with you there, Matt. Oh, good for their time, I guess, you know. I wasn't into it, but, you know, a lot of people liked them. I, you know, I've got to say, they're better than what they fucking have now. The crap music they have now. At least they had something, you know. They had, you know, they were, they were, they were brilliant. Even though I'd, oh, I'm not getting into that. Anyway, which... With which sport do you associate Ian Stark? Hurling? Canoeing? The three day event? I 
I wouldn't say that, Jason. I wouldn't say that. I can't dance. <laughs> flower arranging. The fuck, flower arranging? See the three day event? Right, we got. <laughs> right, we'll go with the three day event. Whatever that is. That's correct, well done. Star question. Which, what kind of creature is a smew? We've had this before. A worm, a mouse, or a duck? I believe it's a duck. Right, we'll go for a duck. Is it a duck? Of course it's a duck. Well done. Right, sports, trivia, show business, or, yeah, sports, right, classics, there's no music, sports, trivia, show business, right, Matt says sports, well, what was Dean's job before Tolver and Dean? A social worker, a postman, or a policeman? I would say a social worker. I, I, I can't imagine him being a postman or a policeman. Well, Starshine says a postman. You miss him? Bloody hell. What's he like? <laughs> Excuse me. Right, two for postman. Postman Dean. Let's find out. No, it's not! Oh, fucking hell, we're down to £5.40 now. I think a few of them were my errors, but there you go. Oh, he likes his car, right? All right. Why don't you become a racing driver? You become a skier. Not a skier, a bloody ice ice skater. Ice skater. Right, show us business or sport. Right, sport okay. Who won the 1982 World Cup? You know this one, Matt. Italy, Argentina, no. Uh, Spain. Right, I would definitely go with right, Italy. And it's correct, well done. So we show business. Shit, what is the Fawn's first name? It's Arthur. Chuck John, no, it's Arthur. Playing them. Oh. Skiing games. What's that? You play some skiing games. Oh, well, I think I played a skiing game. Wasn't that? I can't remember what I played a skiing game. I can't remember what it was now. Right, it's halfway. We all know that. Yeah, it was shit, that fucking Codemasters one. That was crap. Probably one of the worst Oliver Twins games ever. That skiing game. Music it has to be. Where did the Swedish group... Fuck off. You having a joke? Of course it's Sweden. They're expecting everyone to be pissed out of their heads by now and <laughs> say the wrong answer. I probably know me, I probably would have done. Right. What is a siesta? A party, a sleep, or a car? It's a sleep.
Well hold on, it says sleep. <laughs> right, music, music, trivia, music or show business. It's a fiesta. That's a party, isn't it? A fiesta is a party. Right, a music it is. Oh, let's go for that one. Joking here, bye. Who had a hit with Sweet Dreams? Bonnie Tyler. Janet Jackson's Audio Rhythmics. Right, the Eurythmics. Let's go for the Eurythmics. It's correct, well done. I learnt to drive and passed my test in a full fiesta. Um, trivial music. Right, trivia. What is the tallest building in the United States? The Sears Building, the Empire State Building, or the World Trade Center Building? Right, I'm not 100% sure on this. Is it the Empire State Building or is it the World Trade? Well, was, was the World Trade Center Building. Not C. It's the Empire State, isn't it? <laughs> it's the Sears Tower. Right, I think it's the Empire State. It's in New York, so... Well, what are we going for? The Sears building or the Empire State? I've got a gut feeling it's the Empire State. It's the Sears building. Right, uh, two for the Empire, the Sears building. Is it the Sears building? Correct, well done. It is the Sears building. Joker. Show business. What is Miss Marple's first name? Agnes, Jane or Mary? Right, Starshine says, Jane. I don't have a clue. Right, two for me, three for me. Right, it's Jane Marple. Jane Marple? It's Jane Marple, well done. Star question. What bloody all I doing? What is the most popular last name in the world? Joan Smith is Chang. I say Chang. Cha Chang. It's Chang. Is it Chang? It's Chang. Of course it is. Cunts. Right, we'll have one more round and I will call it a night. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, show business trivia, show business trivia, trivia. There's no sports. <laughs> right, show business. Where was the first the untouchable set? New York is Chicago. I'm sure it's Chicago, isn't it? Never seen the film. But I'm sure it's Chicago. 
San Francisco. Classic says C. Uh, I think it's C. Uh, it is Chicago. Yep, yeah, well done, says Chicago. Well done. Trivial or show business? Show business, okay. Who lived in Emerald City? Superman, the Waltons, or the Wizard of Oz? Isn't that obvious? The Wizard of Oz. And it's correct, well done. Joker. Joker again. Right, the final question of the night. What is a mal deer called? A buck, a row, or a roo, row, roo, or do? Do. It's a buck. Right, everyone's saying a buck, a buck or a stag. All he seems to say a row. <laughs> the majority with with buck. Is it a buck? Let's find out. It is a buck. Well done. And we finally ended up with five pounds sixty. It could have been more. I made major fuck ups. Oh well. It happens. Right, girls and guys, thank you for coming on. It's been another great stream tonight. Stefano, we'll definitely have to sort that um, voice thingy out because that would be fucking brilliant. We can all each talk to each other. That would be fucking brilliant. If we can talk to each other while I'm doing a live stream, awesome. That would be brilliant. Goodbye today. Goodbye tonight, actually. Goodbye tonight. Hello today. Goodbye tonight. That's my, that's my catchphrase. Hello today. Goodbye tonight. Because no one else has ever done that. Anyway, thank you very much for coming on. I reckon there'll be another stream next Saturday, unless anything happens. But it looks good for never. Um another Saturday stream I think so why not if I don't go out thank you for all coming on brilliant as always take care and goodbye <laughs>